Welcome to the demonstration of the Zartec multi-user wireless intercom. Here's the gate station and here is the handset. Firstly we have to program up the gate station. Remove the aluminium plate using the special tool provided and remove the plastic bracket holding down the keypad. Remove the keypad and reveal the battery backup. Insert the battery backup for power. To remove the back mounting plate, unscrew the screw and slide off the plate. Here we reveal our 12 volt supply. Here is the connector. There's the 12 volt supply and we have the antenna connection to connect to your external antenna for improved range and we have two gate releases a A and a B trigger. A A trigger supplies a voltage output and a B trigger uses a contact. On the gate station there is a PC programming port to program up via the computer but we're going to program up manually which is a lot easier. To enter into programming mode, to enter our codes per house, press star star 168. Choose between PC or manual programming, let's choose manual. Enter our pin, the default is 6 ones, and press enter. We can choose between four operating channels to avoid interference from other systems. Let's choose channel 4. We can change our default pin. There's also a door entry code to open the gate from outside. It's a star plus a star and, th and four digits. Let's just keep it on default. And we can choose between a single user or multi-user mode. On single user mode, there's only one code associated. So you just press the hash button to call all the handsets. On multiple user, there's many different codes and the visitor would have to press in the code for the house they want to call. Let's choose multiple user. Here, we can program up the names and the numbers that we want. Let's say for instance, choose the name Smith. Enter in your, the letters of the name and use the cursors to move to the next space. The last three spaces are reserved for our three digit pin. It has to be three digits, three numbers. Let's choose 001. And we can move to the next line and the next page using the hash key or we go to our previous page using the down arrow. Once all the codes and names have been entered we can program up the handsets. On the handset first open up the battery cover to insert the battery. As we see it's been selected on channel 1, there's our code, battery level indicator, our volume level, the ringing type, there's ring, flashing and vibrate, our indicator showing if the gate has been opened and the communication to the gate station or from the gate, gate station or to and from the handset. On our buttons, a handset calling button, our can, on and off button and call cancel button. PTT is used for press to talk to conduct a conversation. Up and down arrow, our ringtone and our two triggers A and B for triggering the gate. Let's choose channel 4 as per our gate station. Remove the battery, press and hold in the handset calling button on the top right and insert the battery. Now we can use the arrow keys to select our channel, channel 4, and remove the battery. To enter into programming mode, press and hold in the A button while inserting the battery. 
and P flashes showing that the handset is in programming mode. Let's put the handset on the side. To enter into pairing mode on the gate station, press star star 238. Enter our pin, default is six ones. Enter. Now we're in pairing mode. The gate station is scrolling all the secure codes. We have entered 001 as our code to program up on the handset. We will enter 001 to program up the handset. As you will observe, the handset is being taught the code 001 and the handset has been taught. To pair up additional handsets, Follow the same procedure, put the handset into pairing mode and program up the code that's necessary for that handset. If there's multiple handsets, then put all the handsets on pairing mode and they'll all be taught the same code. To reset the handset, just remove the battery, put it back in and we see that we're on channel 4 and the code is 001 as per our gate station. To exit pairing mode on the gate station, press the, the enter button. Now we can do a search for the name or just press the three digit number and hash to call. Let's do a search for the name. Press star star hash to search. Press the up and down arrow to select other names. As we can see, Smith is on 001 and there's many more codes to call. To exit that, press enter and to call the handset, press 001 and the hash button. Handset's being called. To answer the handset, press PTT. It timed out. Let's call again. To answer, press PTT. And we can set up communication. The gate station will automatically speak. As you can see, the microphone is activated. And to speak back, we press and hold in the PTT button. To trigger the gate, you can press A or a B for gate triggering. A or B to trigger the gate, and as is indicated on the handset, it will show you which gate has been opened. Press the red button to cancel the call. The handset can also call the gate station at any point in time just by pressing the PTT button. Or you can trigger the gate by keeping the A or B pressed in for three seconds. And indicates it's being triggered. The gate station will also indicate that it's been triggered. Once that is all finished, screw everything back on and you're ready for your range test. Thank you.